have this year, it's about three quarters of our participants are women. And again, that's, it fits in again with the Chancellor's Network for Women's Leadership to promote more leadership opportunities for everybody, but particularly those who have been traditionally underrepresented in leadership positions. The, the conflict management session, which really stood out to me, I, I really have been implementing listening more. If someone comes to me with some kind of issue, I immediately start trying to, to solve it and I just start talking. So I've been practicing my listening skills because of that. Personally, I'm data-driven and I really enjoyed the, the neuroanatomy and some of the cognitive sciences that uh, some of the presenters have shared. That research that uh, I don't have all of the time to go sometimes for personal curiosities, uh, spend time uh, learning, it's really satisfying to have them present it to us in a well-organized fashion. I nominated the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, uh, Dr. Walter Diaz, as my mentor. We uh, successfully work on a project which is called CERT, C-E-R-T, training program and uh, we are going to jointly offer like a uh, uh, hundred students to prepare to become a disaster responders. We are going to increase impact on uh, disaster preparedness in this uh, region. I was able to connect with my colleagues, with colleagues from other departments um, and staff, with uh, administrators, um, and that was very helpful and valuable. This is the first year that the, that the Institute has had both faculty and staff. I'm staff, so my perspective is uh, as a new person coming in where it's always been faculty prior. Um, I don't have their perspective on what the process has been in the last 12 years, but here today, these sessions, uh, there is a lot of back and forth. So one of the early sessions, I remember, I stepped on a few toes by making a comment about the process that my office has to go through and uh, certain expectations that we have. And um, I was able to gain a lot of insight into the requirements and the, 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 the difficulties that some of the faculty have in fulfilling all of their obligations. I have been able to gather more detailed knowledge and understanding about how leadership works not only within the upper levels of administration in the university just through education that they've given us but also how that benefits that that leadership benefits all the way down to the very beginning of the educational process. I had always kind of assumed that I had a particular leadership style um, and one of the things that I think I learned is that I don't have just one style and that's probably a good thing. Um, so I learned to kind of be more mindful and that different people may need different motivations uh, to get work done. I would love to see outstanding faculty get to know administrators and say to themselves, you know what? Um, someday I'd like to be uh, a vice president for fill in the blank. Someday I think, I, I think I'd like to be a provost. I'd like to maybe be a president. And I think by combining the faculty and administrators together, we speed up that realization. We're also busy. We're, we're busy with work and we're busy with life in general, our personal lives. And the fact that the um, Advanced Institute is taking the time to make sure that we have the skills that we need to be able to have the speakers come down at the caliber that they're at to come down and to speak with us and for everyone to take time out of their busy schedules. It's been amazing to be able to feel that, we, that, that the investment in us is something that is going to be beneficial to the university.